Hello, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you enjoy your dinner right now. OK, so this is uh, a celebration uh, for, for the um, KDD. So we have gone through uh, four days of events. I hope everybody is enjoying uh, all the events and, and having a good time. And as I said in the beginning of the opening session, I see a lot of uh, you know, happy faces. And they all think uh, uh, you know, this is a good time we start the in-person conference after two years of virtual. And, uh, but I should let you know, it took a little bit of courage for us to decide whether we want to do an in-person meeting or hybrid or uh, virtual. So we decided at that time to go in person. And uh, so it looks like it's a success. And we want to thank SIG KDD on trusting us to make that decision and go uh, in person meeting. OK, so. so. Yeah, um, so I want to begin by um, a lot of thanks here, but thanks to Meta for uh, sponsoring this dinner. And um, I, I think the, what we're going to do is we're going to have a short uh, presentation. There are some awardees here who are going to be honored. Uh, and uh, we want to begin by introducing. Yeah. Introduce. Introducing so, the research track PC, uh, PC chairs, uh, Professor Nitesh Chawla at the University of Notre Dame, and Professor Yan Liu at the uh, University of Southern California. So they'll give you a quick uh, update on, on, the, on the program and, and uh, things. But it looks like they're missing. Where's Nitesh? <laughs> I don't know. Nitesh. Calling for Nitesh and Yan. He's coming. Nitesh? Maybe, maybe you want to do uh, Luna first? So maybe we can go with uh, the apply the, oh, Nitesh is here. Come on, Nitesh. Nitesh. Let's see how fast you can run there without tripping. <laughs> and Jan? Calling for Professor Yan Liu. But you are not, you are not wired, right? No. Okay. But is it wired? No. Yes, yeah, okay. on. Okay. Hey, everyone. Good evening. Good. So, hey, the fly, the fly. Good evening. <laughs> I know we are eating. Did we have an exciting program after how many years? Best program ever? Yes? All right, no response. You guys are a tough crowd. All right, so hey, so uh, I don't know where Jan is. She's here. Jan. And there she's joining. Jan, uh, my yeah. wonderful program yeah. co-chair and, and myself will share some quick statistics about the program. And uh, we also have two workflow co-chairs. We could not have done this without them. So Chu Xu and Cha Huang. Chu Xu, you're here somewhere? Yeah, there he is. Please give a round of applause to Chu Xu there. <laughs> All right, yeah. You want to pick up from here? And so just to give you guys a bit of a statistic. All right, so we received about 1,695 papers this year, the largest amount of papers received in, throughout the history of KDB. And we retained about 1,665 papers. Out of that, we accepted 254 papers, so about an acceptance rate of 15%. But it's really exciting to see the steady rate of increase of KDD submissions and the accepted papers uh, over the last uh, three years. So the COVID hasn't quite slowed down this community. So congratulations on job well done, papers well submitted. And uh, so we had to recruit. So if you are among the PCs here and the SPCs, please give yourselves a round of applause for helping us. Thank you. Uh, so 1,000 uh, PC members were recruited, about 150 SPCs. The review period was four weeks, and we, every paper received at least three reviews. 
from the pieces and the meta review by the SPC. Average number of reviews were 3.7, and we really followed a double blind. So when we saw the 1,695 papers that were submitted, 1,665 about, we rejected, desk rejected papers that violated you know, any sense of double blind, whether through references or self-reference, or we had a paper which had a GitHub link which displayed there, uh, violated the anonymity of the conference as well, so we went through that process too. And I'll have Jan come in and speak to the next few slides. Okay. So in terms of the review process, we have been trying our best to ensure that our reviews are high quality and there will be uh, enough number of reviews per paper and also the SPC will be spending uh, enough amount of time to write a meta review, initiate the discussion, as well as some uh, time for PC, uh, for program uh, chairs uh, deliberation with the SPC. Uh, for example, in here, SPC and PC discussion period is about two to three weeks, and also we have SPC and program co-chair deliberation for two to three weeks. We have been manually examining all papers uh, that are on the boundary, and also all the papers who received high score but was yeah, recommended rejection, and all papers that were having lower score but were recommended as acceptance. And all these papers have been manually examined by uh, both Nitesh and me and also by working with SPC. So uh, hopefully that we have done our thorough job. I'm sure that there will be a lot of broken hearts after we send out the notification. Uh, but rest assured that we really try to stick with the most rigorous evaluation and uh, review process as much as possible. So uh, in terms of the submission statistics, this is just for something to share that now we are seeing a little bit new trend uh, in terms of all authors uh, based on self-identified region affiliation. We can see that the top 10 countries and then significantly from mainland China, it constitutes 45% of the authors making submissions. And then followed by US and then uh, Australia, Korean, and et cetera. So uh, also a little bit uh, on what's new this year. Um, so the first thing that uh, when we discuss the call for papers is that we think data science is a significantly expanding area. And one of the most important thing we want to do is that data science that can actually leading to a significant societal impact. And therefore that we create a special track for data science for society track so that when you submit the paper, there will be a particular topic that you can choose uh, to identify your paper is actually belong to that category. And in addition, in order to accommodate this new trend, we also recruit interdisciplinary PC and SPC so that we can reflect the areas and also we have expertise to review uh, uh, these uh, submissions. Uh, as we just mentioned, we introduced the workflow co-chairs. They're wonderful. And again, thank Chao and Chu Xu to make things happen. Uh, and then the other thing uh, that uh, we do have this year is that we receive a significant number of increase of submissions uh, leading to a good increase in terms of uh, uh, accepted papers. But at the same time that we do have some challenges because we keep on receiving emails from the authors as of today uh, as well that uh, they couldn't make uh, the conference due to COVID restrictions. Uh, we think that this is, could be potentially just a temporary. Hopefully next year things will be much more improved and we will welcome everyone uh, in KDD 2023. Um, the other thing is that we noticed that there is a, we have to re uh, recruit a significantly higher number uh, of PCs and SPCs to accommodate the number of submissions so that the workload will be a little bit reduced compared with previous years for PCs and uh, remain the same for SPC to ensure the high quality reviews. So uh, with that, uh, I Can think, I yeah, uh, I'll pass it to Nitesh. Like the certificates from that. All right, so uh, we had, uh, we are very excited now to introduce some of the best paper awards. The process that we followed is Jan and I looked at the reviews and we assessed the papers ourselves based on the reviews, and we made recommendations to the Best Paper Awards Committee that was chaired by Jian Pei. So they really had a lot of work for them, and they were very diligent in evaluating and processing 
uh, the reviews as well as the papers uh, independently to determine what the best paper award winners and the runner-up and the student paper award would be. So very deep gratitude to Jean Pei and, and, and his colleagues within the Best Paper Awards Committee for, for doing that. And the Best Paper Award goes to learning causal effects on hypergraphs. And could we have the uh, authors by Zhang Ma from University of Virginia, <laughs> Meng Ting Wan from Microsoft, Long Chi Yang from Microsoft, Jun Dong Li from University of Virginia, Grant Heck from Microsoft, and Jamie T. Wan from Microsoft. The authors I know are here. They have confirmed. Please come up and collect your certificates. So we are giving the paper certificates today, the plaque, and as this is the check is in the mail. So if you were hoping for a check today, we'll have to wait. Ah, the student author has to be here first. <laughs> Jing Ma is a student, PhD, third year PhD student at the University of Virginia. So let's celebrate her a bit, please. The Best Student Paper Award. This one goes to uh, uh, Shibal Ibrahim from MIT, Hussein uh, Azima from MIT, and Rawal Mazumdar from MIT on flexible modeling and multitask learning using differentiable tree ensembles. Please, congratulations. Again, let's congratulate them again, please. Especially awesome to see the students receiving these awards and the authors present here collectively to receive uh, the awards as well. And the final award is for the best, best paper award runner-up. And this one goes to uh, partial quasi-Newton methods, efficient algorithms for minimax optimization problems with unbalanced dimensionality. And the authors are Cheng Chang Liu from USTC, Shushian B from USDC, Lua Luo from Fudan, and John S. Louis from CUHK. I do not believe these authors are here. Uh, please correct me because of uh, travel restrictions. So, but let's still celebrate their achievement together, please. And we'll pass it on to our wonderful general chairs to take it from here. Thank you again and enjoy your evening. A big round of thank you to Nitesh, Jan, and Chushu, and, um, and, and you know, for uh, essentially ensuring the quality of the program and all the wonderful talks that we have had. So thanks again, guys. Next, uh, we would like to introduce uh, Luna Dong, the uh, PC chair uh, for the ADS uh, track. Luna? Should be. Oh, you're there. <laughs> Can you hear me? OK. So it's my great pleasure to um, co-chair the ADS track with Dashin Jiang from Microsoft, and also with our two workshop chairs, Xiu Bo Gong from Microsoft and Tao Shen from Microsoft. So unfortunately, uh, these three people, they cannot come because of the COVID travel sort of um, uh, restrictions, but they have done tremendous amount of work, and uh, without them, it's impossible to get this program ready. So for this year, we have 753 submissions 
and uh, 196 accepted papers. Comparing with last year, uh, the submissions has grown by 7%, and uh, the accepted papers have grown by 42%. And as you can see, the acceptance rate is higher than last year. Uh, obviously, during the COVID, people learned better and better how to write ADS papers. So we have six 15 reviewers in the, as PC members. Each of them reviewed five to six papers. And in addition, we have 108 meta reviewers. Each of them uh, lead the reviews for seven to eight papers. And um, each paper got reviewed by four to, uh, three to four reviewers, some of them by five. And uh, it's a lot of commitment from the PC members, SPC members, to select all of these papers, make sure we have high quality papers uh, presented to all of you. So you can see the distributions of the papers by the primary subject area. And uh, the biggest bucket is um, domain specific applications, which is great. This is a applied data science uh, track and uh, we are very happy to see the applications from many different real domains. And then the second and the third are recommendation systems and uh, search and IR. So in terms of uh, the countries and regions, and here is the distribution by the uh, country of the first author, and you can see uh, U.S. and the mainland China uh, got the largest number of accepted papers. These are top two. So we do have a distribution uh, according to the number of submitted papers and the number of um, uh, accepted papers. And those uh, lightest, the green is zero. And then the darker, the green, the higher number of people. And there are people who submitted 14 papers there are people who got six papers accepted, and I would say the most uh, extraordinary one is those like who submitted uh, nine papers and got six papers accepted. That's a lot. Okay, so um, among all of these accepted papers, 139 conformed for on-site presentation. The real number is a little bit uh, below because there are people who had to job at the last uh, minute. Um, and in total, we have 11 oral sessions for 54 papers, and those are spread out among the three days. In addition, tomorrow we will have eight showcase sessions for 85 papers. For the showcase sessions, each paper has 10 minutes. So in your uh, booklet, you see two sessions, but each session has four rooms. It's actually four parallel sessions. And you are more than welcome to check out to see what's going on. And in addition, uh, on Monday, we have the posters for uh, 140 papers. Okay, now exciting time. So for the uh, runner-up runner -up for the Best Paper Award, so this goes to Gray Kite, Deploying Flexible Forecasting at Scale in LinkedIn. And the authors are Albert Chen, Reza, Kaiyu, Saren Yi, Sad, Sushi, and Pavez. Are you here? Big applause. Okay, the best paper award goes to uh, a team of people from Alibaba, 
and it is federated scope GNN towards a unified, comprehensive, and efficient package for federated graph learning. And the paper was selected for contributing a platform and data sets to advance the development of federated graph learning technologies and setting up the bar and the ex excellent example of platform building. So I learned a lot when I read this paper. I learned a lot from their tutorial, and I highly recommend you to read papers, benefit from this uh, platform, and build more of such platforms to benefit this community. And uh, this uh, goes to the uh, authors, Jen Wang, Wei Rui Kuang, Yue Xiang Xie, Liu Yi Yao, Ya Liang Li, Bo Lin Ding, and Jing Ren Zhou. Congratulations. So, yeah, with this, uh, I'm ending the report from the ADS co chairs. And our sincere thanks to all of the people who submitted papers, to all of the PC members, SPC members, to all of the people in the OC uh, committee, and also to all of you to come to listen to the talks, to learn from those papers, and you make this pro program a success. Thank you. Thank you, Luna. Thanks to Luna. Thanks to Luna and Da Xin for their hard work. And the next, uh, I would like to introduce Tim. Come to where Tim is here. Uh, again? <laughs> <laughs> to present the KDD Cabo Award. Thank you very much. Uh, as, I didn't, as I don't said, my name is Tim Winninger, and um, I also uh, am co-chair with uh, Karthik Subian and Jay Ping Ye. They couldn't make it here, uh, but I wanted to take a few words to explain uh, our, the KDD Cup, what it is, what we're trying to do, so this year, we received uh, many dozen applicants' proposals of, of interesting tasks and data sets that we're trying to, uh, from companies and organizations that are trying to solve interesting problems. And when we took a look at these together, we looked at what is the most interesting data, what are the most interesting problems, and we settled on two. Two in particular that um, we have thought were the most interesting, and um, I think, I hope you'll agree. The first is from Baidu. What they were able to do is they were able to find from the Chinese Energy um, Agency data from every windmill in China, every second, recorded the wind speed, humidity, temperature, and amount of energy generated by each windmill in all of China, provided that data to the KDD community so we could predict the weather for the next day. Second, Amazon, um, after some diligent effort and legal work, were able to release their entire product catalog for the KDD community to study, analyze, and um, the different tasks. So without further ado, um, each of these, uh, in total, there's $70,000 in awards. Um, and unfortunately, many of those uh, who won the first prize and second prize are not, aren't with us, but one lucky soul is. So let's hold our applause until towards the end, and then we'll, uh, we'll thank that one uh, soul who is here to collect his award. So first off, uh, the awards uh, for the Spatial Dynamic Wind Power Forecasting Challenge sponsored by Baidu uh, is Team Hick from Hick Vision, led by Linson Lee, and then runner-up, Team Trimore, uh, led by Han Han Lu. Now, not to be outdone, in the second track by Baidu, the paddle track, Team Highmore from Han Han, uh, Han, Han Lu won first prize, and then the runner-up is Team Jin Ji Jin, led by Shui Lin Ling. Now, that's the Baidu challenge. Amazon had three tracks. The first track is uh, the, uh, 
the query product ranking track. First prize for the Amazon challenge uh, goes to Chi Jang from, uh, from NetEase and uh, Team WWW. A second prize went to uh, Team, I'm not going to try to pronounce that one, Team Really Long Amalgamation, uh, but led by Shali Chen. The second track from Amazon is the multi-class product classification. First prize went to Team Day Day Up, led by Jin Jin Lin uh, from the Ant Group, but we've been holding our applause. I am told we have a special visitor uh, for the runner-up, which is Team ETS Lab from Purdue, Fan Yu Wu. Are you here? Please be here. There he is. We got him. So congratulations, but stay right where you are. Because the third track challenge at Amazon was also won by, this is no typo, uh, Team Day Day Up from the Ant Group. Second prize again was Team ETS Lab, Fan Yu Wu. Please come up and collect your prize. Come on, no, you get another one. There you go. Different certificate. Same for some guy. All right, congratulations. And as I said before, there's seventy thousand dollars in prizes will be distributed. Check is in the mail. And with that, I'll turn it back to Idong to finish up with the uh, the rest of the program. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Tim. And uh, thanks to team and uh, uh, the other members of uh, the uh, KDD Cup uh, team, and they made a tremendous effort for this uh, event. So next, uh, uh, our success, we won't be so successful without the team effort. So we would like to thank our organization committee. And so I hope most of them are here. When I call, I hope you stand up. Uh, the first uh, person we would like to mention is the ADS Invited Talk track chair, Suju. Are you here? I don't think he's, she's here. Okay. Thank you. So, next uh, we would like to thank uh, uh, the local chairs, Herman, Jessica, Sam. And please stand up. I yeah, hope to mention you know, they, you know, they started working on this last year, a year before this, and starting look at the uh, location and everything. So, thank you very much. They, for your they sampled all the food. So, if you don't like the food, you got to complain to them. <laughs> and uh, next uh, uh, part, the web chairs. They also started very early last year. And I would like to uh, mention the first uh, Carl Yang. Carl Yang here. Where? Where's the Carl? Yi Feng. Yi Feng. And you come Carl Yi Feng is here. Okay. Oh, Carl, you are there. So this young junior faculty, you know, they dedicated their time to make the, our wonderful website, and they have been working constantly with all the changes you want to make. So thank you very much. And I also want to thank the students uh, on, the, on the web committee. Oh, go back. So the students on the web committee. Um, and and uh, if the students on the web committee are here, please stand up. You know, I'm, I'm sure they wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. So great, great effort at this. Uh, so Jayang, Yujun, uh, Yong Chen, and Mohammad, Mohammad Al. Thank you again, folks. Um, then there was a um, um, there was a equity, uh, diversity, and inclusion track. 
uh, Judith Spritz uh, from Cornell uh, Breakthrough Tech and Johannes Gekre from Microsoft. They led this second woman in uh, KDD whole workshop day. I know some folks participated and, and they gained a lot of interaction. I don't believe they are here, but we should really thank their efforts here. We had uh, three tutorial chairs, Jing Gao from Purdue University, uh, Wee Hong Talk from Microsoft, and Shenghua Bao from Amazon. I know Shenghua and Jing were here. Oh, there's Shenghua and Jing. Wee Hong, great. But thank you again for all the wonderful tutorials that we had. Sure. Um, we also had uh, workshops. Uh, we had a lot of workshops, a lot of great programming here again. Thanks to Hongning, who's also our official camera camera person. So Hongning is here along with Elena, Zale Ale Elena Zaleva from, from uh, University of Illinois, Chicago. Yeah, I think somebody needs to take Hongning's picture, right? So. Okay. So uh, next, uh, social media publicity chairs. Uh, what is so Evan, uh, how do I say name? Evan. Is Vogelis here? Evan. Oh, there he is, at the back. And, and Tyler. And Tyler. Tyler. Oh, there he is, Tyler. Oh, okay. so, Thank you very much. So I don't know if you folks saw the TikTok video they made of the program, and I, hopefully you guys are here because you saw that TikTok video, right? So finance chair, Fanny, are you here? There she is. Oh, you're here. Thank you very much. So this is uh, one of the most important uh, position. You know, a lot of responsibility without going deficit, right? So it start, also start working very early uh, last year to uh, make the budget. So thank you, uh, Fanny, for doing that. Uh, next, uh, I said uh, we give a huge you know, shout, shout out to, to the sponsor uh, chairs, uh, Li Fei, Fasal, and uh, Kiwi. I think Li Fei is here, right? Okay, thank you. Uh, so, a lot of sponsors, including tonight, the Matters sponsor, right? So, uh, thanks to, to all of you. Uh, so, the CAP, so we just went through the CAP. And that's a very successful, you know, event team, Jieping and Karthik. So next to the preceding chairs, Ji Liang and Yao. Any Yao here? He, Yao is here. Oh, Yao is here. Uh, Yao, uh, Yao. So thank you, Yao. And Yao is also very junior, right? Just started not a, a couple of years ago junior faculty and dedicated tremendous time to check over the proceedings, make sure no mistakes, and, and uh, thank you very much, y'all. Uh, so uh, we also have the poster chairs. Jun Dong, I think I just saw you winning that best paper award. Jun Dong, okay. Anu, Anu is here? Anu is here. Anu here? Okay, he's, he's not here. So, so you see all the posters and the other chairs in charge of this, and thank you very much. So you want to go there? Sure. Uh, so we also had registration and student travel chair. So we had Yue Ning from Stevens. We had Agorit Sapulizu from Florida International University, and Don Tong Yu from New Jersey. So, uh, so Yue is there. So we also had the government day, uh, and Edong uh, and Wasant were the chairs for the government day. So big thank you to the, uh, Edong and Wasant. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that's. A, well, I don't. Yeah, I don't think Wasant is here. I, I do hope that the government they gave you most important information for, you know, helpful to get a grant. Okay. Uh, we also had Deep Learning Day. Uh, it was very popular. Uh, Chandan Reddy and Danai, uh, Danai Kutra. Um, I know Chandan is here. Danai, are you here? We are, oh. 
So we also had the health day. I know Fei, I saw Fei Wang uh, at this conference. Uh, Rumi uh, and Theodora, they organized the health day uh, special day. So Fei, are you here? I see him. Uh, we also had a new program, Undergraduate Consortium. So this was run by David Anastasiu at Santa Clara and Asrag Boss at uh, Oklahoma State University. Um, we also had Trustworthy AI Day. Uh, we had Alexandra, uh, Hima, Mari, Mani, uh, Wei Wang, uh, Yizu, and uh, Har Harvit Singh. So if you folks are here, please. Uh, I will do the last. Okay. 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 The last group we want to thank is the uh, the team uh, led by Christy. You have seen Christy and this uh, uh, company who work, work for us and has been working with us for three years, uh, organizing the KTD events. Uh, let's give them a big applause. Where Christy, are you there? Where is Christy? So, and her team has been working with us constantly since last year, and, and without them, we won't be here with such nice food and everything. So they made everything possible. And next, I would like to introduce Dr. Wei Wang, the chair of the CKDD, to uh, give us updates and uh, other businesses. Okay, good evening, everyone. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Okay, so, uh, since actually this uh, current executive committee consists of uh, nine individuals, including myself as the chair and eight other members, and we start to serve our term actually since uh, July 1st last year, but this is the first in-person meeting we have, so I would like to take this opportunity to uh, introduce them to you, and uh, if you uh, run into them, you have good suggestions about CKDD, and uh, please uh, you know, send them your, your comments, questions, and uh, even you know, if you have any concerns, any recommendations, we would love to hear from you. And uh, all of us will serve for four years, so this is the beginning of the second year. Um, I don't know if you can see it clearly. Uh, that's myself. Um, uh, Thornton from uh, uh, Cornell and uh, Jeff Webb from uh, Monash University, uh, Hui, Hui Xiong from uh, uh, Rutgers, and Jen Pei from Duke, and uh, Zaki from RPI, Johannes from Microsoft, Cynthia from Duke, and uh, and Zhi Hua Zhou from uh, Nanjing University. Unfortunately, due to the travel constraints, many of them are not able to. Uh, make to this particular KDD. We hope to see them in person next year. Okay, in addition to the executive committee, KDD also have two appointed chair, uh, Ren Xiang from USC as the uh, uh, information director and uh, Faisal as the uh, sponsorship chair. This, he's from LinkedIn and uh, he's at the conference, so many of you have talked to him. And actually, we needed to thank him in a big way this year for raising the uh, sponsorship for this particular KDD. He will continue to work with us for uh, another two years. So let's give a round of applause to thank all of them. Um, here's an update about the financial con uh, status of uh, CKDD. Um, you can see the, uh, from the chart, uh, you see that actually uh, CKDD is in very healthy uh, financial status. Even though uh, in the past three years, so due to pandemic, we are reaching a plateau, but uh, uh, we are, you know, making, actually it's very stable, and then we hopefully, uh, you know, after the pandemic, it will grow again, and we also plan to invest the money back to the community. If you have good suggestions, proposals, Please come forward to us, and I would love to hear from you. Okay. 
So next, I would like to introduce Professor Hong Hong Tong to give you an update about the status of ACM transactions, on knowledge discovery from data, and also CKDD exploration. Uh, the editor in chief for TKDD, Charu Agwar, is unfortunately cannot make today's event, so therefore Hong Hong is going to give the presentation on his behalf. Yeah, maybe do this first. Okay. All right. Okay. So, uh, hi. Uh, my name is Hang Hang Tong. Uh, I'm associate professor from University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, and I have uh, Xiang Liang here with me. Uh, so, we'll do a quick report on the ECM uh, CKDD exploration. So, uh, the CKD uh, exploration uh, is the premium newsletter of the CKDD community. Uh, we have an official website here, and uh, we publish twice each year. So I'm the uh, editor-in-chief in the past four years, and uh, moving forward, uh, Xiang Liang will take over. So we'll talk more about this later. Uh, so right now, we have three associate editors, uh, including Dr. Xin Dong uh, from Meta, uh, Dr. Uh, Anku Taradasi from UW, and Dr. Reza Zafarani from Syracuse. So the articles uh, at the CKD exploration, they are of general interest, and they tend to be well received and well cited. And in the meanwhile, we want to mention that this is not uh, the venue to publish your regular paper that in general belong to the conferences or journals. And another point is that the authors of CKDD explorations retain the copyright. So this means that if you want, you may publish the articles again somewhere else. Okay? So in the past few years, uh, all the articles published they are in the combination of the review, uh, survey papers, position papers, workshop, and the conference reports. So for the review and the surveys, uh, they covers a variety of different topics such as adversarial attacks and the defense, graph neural networks, uh, counterfactual analysis, uh, bias reduction, so on and so forth. We also publish a number of the workshop and the conference reports, uh, especially those on promoting data mining for social good. Uh, this includes a special section on bias and fairness in AI, and the workshop report on the, uh, uh, on the diversity, equality, and inclusion. And on top of that, we also uh, highlight the, CK, uh, the KDD impact program. And uh, since three years ago, we started a new effort to conduct the interviews uh, with the recipients of CKDD Innovation Award, as well as the CKDD uh, Service Award to share their stories with the community. So if you are doing great things, uh, which I'm sure there are a lot in this community, such as the survey, uh, review, position paper, workshop, conference report, and other success stories, please let us know, and we'll try our best to share that with the, uh, with the community. Uh, so I have the privilege uh, to be the editor-in-chief of the CKD uh, Explorations in the past four years, so I want to thank the uh, CKD Executive Committee for their trust, and also the prior editor-in-chief, uh, Dr. Charo Agrawal, uh, who set a very good example, and uh, to be frank, a very high bar for the newsletter. So I want to thank my editorial board, uh, including Luna, Anko, and Reza. And a lot of folks made my job uh, much easier. Uh, they include uh, Andrew from ACM, uh, Derek for the online portion of the newsletter, and Anita and her team uh, for conducting the interviews. So a big thanks to them as well. So uh, moving forward, uh, Dr. Xiang Liang Zhang from University of Notre Dame will be the next editor-in-chief. And uh, here is her editorial board, including Dr. Brian Davison from Lehigh, Dr. Jia Yuzhou from Michigan State, and Dr. Shri Zhang Kuma from Georgia Tech. So please continue to support them, and uh, the newsletter is, very, is at a very good hand. Okay? Thank you. Now, 
Now, I, I would like to invite uh, Professor Amberson and Ijo san to the stage. This too will be the uh, conference chair for next year KDD. I would like to give the stage to them to introduce the next KDD 2023. Okay, so let's first uh, watch a video. This is LA for you. You have enjoyed oh, this video. Amazing. <laughs> and next year, uh, our KDD conference will be hosted in uh, California, Los Angeles. As you have watched in the video, right? It's a very uh, exciting city. And uh, uh, our venue will be in Long Beach. And uh, the date actually is one week earlier. And also, since uh, Los Angeles is like a very a uh, good place that actually is a paradise for the young kids. So hopefully you can bring your family and your kids to LA. And actually we have increased the budget for daycare significantly. So bring your kids. Okay. And for next year, Professor Ambush Singh, sorry, uh, from UCSB and myself, uh, Yi Zhou from UCLA, we will be your general chairs to serve this committee. Thank you. Before I begin, a shout out to this year's committee and Josefa and Aidong and Nitesh and Yan, I think to bring out 
bring us back into what the real world is like. So I'd like to thank them again. I think they did a wonderful job. And uh, next year onwards, our job is, will be easier. So they, they did the heavy lifting for us. It'll be just to continue the excellent job that they have done this year. So, so thank you. Do I just hit on this screen? So uh, we are still working on the rest of the committee. And we have some thoughts in terms of what are the other elements that we'd like to add. Um, maybe we should have a section on Hollywood and data science. Someone was saying about it. Maybe, maybe. Um, so these are our initial thoughts. And please uh, give us feedback. We have already heard some uh, ideas from you. So some of the ideas that we had was something that focuses on global warming. We did see a lot of water in that video. But as we know, this is all going away pretty soon. So. So how to focus on that? And how can we, as scientists, work on that aspect? Um, Diversity Day was pretty successful here. We'd like to broaden the scope of it and uh, repeat it next year. Uh, Health Day um, has always been popular. Uh, we'd like to uh, have that in the coming year. Um, some thoughts that we have in terms of trying to understand human and AI uh, interactions. And we'll have AI agents and humans. And how can we predict their behavior of the joint human AI systems? And I think this, this has been a theme in a number of companies now. And we'd like to think about a possibility of having a, a, a special day on that aspect. And finally, a quantum and uh, AI and quantum and machine learning we are thinking about having a specific day that is devoted to that specific topic. So these are our initial thoughts. We had a large number of workshops and tutorials this year. And we'd like to continue in the same theme. And as I recognize from the KDD, the challenge happens to be to be serving a pretty diverse group of people. right? And, and we'll try our best. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Ambush and Ijo. And, uh, you know, we hope to see everyone at uh, Los Angeles next year. So after that, um, we, are, we want to solicit, you know, proposals to host uh, 2025 and 2026 KDD conference. They are going to be located in US again, because 2024 is going to be in Europe. We already decided the location. But uh, we want to solicit uh, proposals to host the 2025 KDD along the East Coast and the 2026 KDD along the West Coast. So if you have uh, interest, right, please let us know. OK, email is fine, right? So you can, if, uh, you know, you, if you see me in the hallway and then talk to me, it's fine. But I would prefer email so that I can have a record to see which city, right? And if you want to know more, like what takes to you know host a, a conference, and uh, please also come forward to talk to us. Um, with that, I would like to hand back to uh, Aidon and uh, Josefa. So. so um, so let me announce oh. that uh, photo booth. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. So uh, there's a, for entertainment, we uh, rented a, this a photo booth. I think it's outside somewhere. I don't know where. Do anybody see it? The photo booth? The fo far end? So there is a photo booth. So please, uh, you know, enjoy it if you want. Okay. So uh, that's uh, the thing. And also, um, uh, although this is a celebration dinner, we still have third keynote tomorrow morning. And uh, there are still a lot of uh, 
uh, research track and the applied the data science track to be presented tomorrow. And uh, there are also uh, some uh, industry uh, invited industry speakers. Uh, so remind you, we still have a, a, until 3 o'clock, uh, 3.30 for the whole schedule. And the last, uh, we would like to thank all the uh, participants. And I think uh, for the record, we have uh, 2,100 people uh, registered uh, this year. To, to attend the, the conference, and thank you all for your participation. And uh, I guess let's uh, enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you. Thank you again. Uh, have fun. Uh, good night. Okay.